Well, welcome to finally a grocery haul. I say finally because I don't even want to know how long it took me to get all of my groceries in here. It's a big one. Get prepared, buckle up, be prepared. I feel like I'm spitting. I'm like, I'm releasing liquid out of every orifice of my body. Well, okay, that's gross. Anyway, I tried, I did my best attempt at like shelf timber and eating through what I had and trying to save money, which I, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. Uh, I didn't make it, spoiler alert. But I can tell you my fridge has never been this bare. There's no food. We've had people come over and be like, is everything okay? Because <laughs> normally, I mean, you know, we like to keep things stocked around here, so... Uh, you know what, I gotta say, I probably will never do that again. I just don't understand the point, I don't understand. I mean, we did eat through some of the things that have been in our pantry for a while, but not like... I, you know, short story long, I missed having a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a salad. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna get into it after like five minutes of an intro because we have a lot to get into. I'll scan the whole kitchen for you, give you a 360 because we've got food everywhere. Oh, by the way, I did get a compliment on my outfit today. Ooh. Oh, did I mention we have a Costco haul? So that is one side. Oh, and I went to Publix. There's more in here that I just, I couldn't take anything more out. There's some over here. I took like 70 trips from the car to the kitchen and you know, with that tote and everything so here is all of it oh my gosh oh wait I lied I said I would jump right into it but hi nice to meet you what was that <laughs> I meal planned today and you know what sparked it we have a uh, family dinner coming up this Saturday and the theme this month is like fall inspired meals so I was looking for fall inspired meals and I found a lot that looked really good so I jotted them down I feel like this past week I, I had no idea what I was gonna eat for dinner mostly because we had like zero food in the house but now uh, I have sparked a new interest in food it's not a new interest, I love food. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Okay, so let's go over the meal plan. The action will probably be a what's for dinner video coming up. So, chicken and dumplings, we recently went to Cracker Barrel, so I'm just gonna try to recreate something delicious. Cranberry rosemary chicken, uh, sad spoiler alert, I could not find cranberries in either store. I guess we're just too early on the season. I bet you next week they'll have them because Costco had a lot of their Christmas stuff out. Harvest chicken skillet, I don't know. Pumpkin rigatoni, sounds weird. Maple glazed chicken, sounds uh, delicious if you like maple. Autumn chicken and wild, oh, wild rice casserole. I forgot wild rice. Autumn minestrone soup, okay. Chicken piccato, piccato and lemon sauce, piccato? <laughs> I think Wolfgang Puck makes a chicken piccata something. So uh, let me put this down. I have no counter space. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, first question, does anyone wanna come over and help me put this stuff away? No, no, no one, anyone, anyone? Bueller? So I got two bundles of bananas, bananas. I got a whole flat of peaches and these are nice peaches. Avelina likes them when they're nice and hard, so do I, ugh, love peaches. The scent of them, the fragrant is filling the air. I also got some bell peppers. Almost went with the mini ones because I feel like my kids are more inclined to eat those. I don't know, maybe I should cut the, ooh, meal prep? Are we meal prepping? I mean, ingredient prepping, whatever it's called. Are we getting our food together? You guys, I don't know, it might be a long video. You'll know before I do if I include it or maybe I'll include it in a different, I don't know. It's up in the air at this point. Let's just keep going. Okay, so eventually we're gonna cut these. Uh, got some grapes because, ooh, and these are nice and hard and crisp. When I got to the car, I opened them. Oh my gosh, and I left. Hold on. I left some sun chips in the car. I forgot to bring them in because they were in the front seat. And I spy some spinach over there. So I got a huge bag of spinach. <laughs> you can just toss spinach into anything and it makes it more nutritious. You barely taste it. It smells kind of weird if it's not cooked. Oh, you know what? I love putting it in salads too. That's a little tip. Okay, and then I got these little potatoes. I re ran out of carrots. We have zero carrots. Actually, uh, Avelina and Alex brought the rest of whatever carrots we did have to her horse lessons the other day, and they fed them to the horses. So, I don't know, there's that. I thought, well, I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow, so you can just bring the rest, who cares? Uh, and then I got two bags of the green beans over here. I say it every time, but I really love that meal where you get like ground beef and like cocoa aminos, and I don't, probably some brown sugar too. It's so good, it's so good. It's such a staple here. I could literally eat it every day eh, until I get sick of it. Okay, here's a kicker. 
Oh, by the way, this is the only fruit in our house, star fruit. We've been eating it like mad because one, it was free and I was like, oh, shelf timber, whatever. Alex gets it from his grandfather's orchard and everyone really loves star fruit. So we had a lot of them and now we only have two left. <laughs> Okay, back to this, a golden melon. I have to tell you, this is the most money I've ever spent on a melon. I've never had a golden melon before. I'm hoping it is absolutely delicious because, wait, does that say candy? I'm excited to cut into this. I What color's on the inside? We don't know, it'll be a surprise. I also got some Brussels sprouts down there. That's part of like the autumn skillet dish. Some Brussels sprouts because they're in season in the autumn time. I finally have romaine lettuce. Oh my gosh, I feel like my whole body is falling apart because I have not been eating a salad a day. So I'm excited to have that back in my life. And then I got a whole thing of seaweed for the kiddos. And I have to tell you, so if you buy like a normal pack of seaweed at the grocery store, it's like, it looks like the same size pack. Oh, it's not, it fools you, because the amount that they put in the Kirkland brand seaweed is five times the amount that you get in like a single serving at a normal grocery store. I'm not exaggerating, that thing is packed to the brim. It is so worth the price. Moving on to the Tower of Strawberries over here. I thought about getting two, and then they just looked so good, so then I got three, and then I thought, my kids have been out of strawberries for probably a solid week. So they're going to munch on those. I bet you they'll down one without even thinking about it. And then I got two little cartons of, well not little, they're, they're huge, of raspberries. And don't these look good too? Look, Costco, all your fruits looked so good today. I wanted all of them. I also got some cucumbers. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, will this all fit in my empty fridge? I don't know. And then I got some oranges over here. These are just great to have on hand, great snack. Great for lunch boxes, you know, transportable fruit and all that good stuff. I got some sweet potatoes and I actually needed for one of the meal recipes, it was chicken something. I don't know, my book's way over there. Chicken something and then on the bottom, it said to buy frozen sweet potato, like frozen mashed sweet potato. Well, one, I couldn't find frozen mashed sweet potato and two, I thought, I can just make that myself. Plus, oh my gosh, one of my favorite things to eat is for like lunches, sweet potato. Throw it in the, your microwave. Guys, if you don't know, don't like poke a potato before you cook it in the microwave. If you keep the skin pure and unpoked, it makes it like, like it cooks more evenly. It makes its own little package. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Its own little uh, cooker right there? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense, but I'm telling you, don't poke your potato, throw it in the microwave, depending on what size it is. I don't know, eight minutes until it's done. And then what I like to do is shred chicken over top if I have shredded chicken, and then Frank's red hot sauce. Oh my gosh. You can stuff sweet potatoes with anything and it is absolutely delicious. I've seen on Pinterest that's been on my recipe board for quite some time now. It's like taco sweet potato. I haven't tried it yet, mostly because I really like carbs. And well, technically sweet potato is a carb, but I really like tortillas, so there's that.
If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better yet I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Okay, surprisingly, we have eaten through all of our mac and cheese. I think I bought, I mean, I bought it a while ago, but Wentworth, he is so proud of himself whenever we make mac and cheese. He can make the entire thing start to finish on his own, and it is the cutest thing. He gets so proud of himself. He even serves it up for everyone if we're eating lunch or something, and it's my favorite thing to watch him do. He's definitely very, very independent. I mean, all our kids are really independent, so there's that. Okay, oh. Um, my kids really love Madra's lentils. We found a pack like in the back of our pantry and Avelina got so excited. She just ate it without any rice or anything. Oh, great. All right, moving on. We got some onions over here. I'm gonna throw these in before I cut them in the fridge before I cut them this time because last time I cut them and I was tearing up. I could not contain my eyeballs. There's gotta be some kind of science behind that. I still haven't looked it up because, well, to be honest, I just don't care that much. <laughs> oh, and then I got Heavenly Hunks. Ridiculously amazing. Oh, isn't that the truth? I've never actually read the package before. Guys, these things are ridiculously amazing and they were ridiculously on sale today at Costco, so I couldn't say no, I couldn't leave them. I almost did, I almost walked on by. Walk on by, but I didn't. I threw them in my cart and I said, well, you're coming home with me and my thighs will not be happy with me, but that's okay. All right, I got some, these aren't potatoes. These are bagels. And you know what? They did away with the Einstein bagels. What's up, Kirkland? Anyway, I bought these. Tip for these because they do go bad quicker. Be I, I don't know, I'm assuming because they have less crap in them, but cut them in the middle and then put them in the freezer and you don't even have to thaw them out before you throw them in the toaster and uh, they'll last a really long time. I know this because we just ate a bunch of stuff from our freezer <laughs> and we had some uh, Costco bagels in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was so hungry while I was shopping around and so when I got to the car, sanitized my hands, I opened this up because uh, so many of you got on me when I, well, actually not so many of you. You know who gets on me? My husband. Alex gets on me whenever I eat uh, I'm getting so excited I can't speak. Whenever I eat fruit that has not been washed yet, he, oh my god, the pesticides! Oh, they're gonna die! Oh. So, I used to eat fruit on the way home from the grocery store. Well, I no longer do that. I eat chips. Not great. And then this time I thought, well, maybe this is better than eating chips. I rolled up some tur <laughs> some turkey. I already opened it. Uh, some of you might think that's gross, but I totally don't. It's like whatever. My hands were clean and my belly was happy about it. Plus I ate chips on top of it. I also got Jack's organic salsa. I am obsessed with this stuff. Still obsessed. Always been obsessed. It It's the best. So, and it... Oh my, I can't, ugh, I'll cast my, oh by the way, there's still sand in our cart from the last time we went to the beach. <laughs> Someone needs to clean that up, huh? Question is, who's going to do it? Okay, this stays good until November 16th, and I think that is just amazing because it tastes like fresh salsa. If you know anything about fresh salsa, it stays good for like three days tops. Oh my gosh, speaking of tomato plants. Our tomato plants died. They didn't produce any tomatoes. Everyone was telling me, Kim, tomato plants, the easiest thing to grow. Tomato, tomato, tomato. And I said, oh, that sounds great. So I got four of them. I have two that actually grew and they have not produced any fruit. They're actually dying. So there's that. Me and my brown thumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pair that with the fact that our lawn guy cut down two of our star fruit trees because it was growing amongst weeds. Oh, it makes my heart so sad. I have one star fruit tree left. I have one mango tree and my final avocado tree just died. Oh, and my orange tree is dead. My banana tree doesn't produce anything. It's just, why do I even bother? Why do I waste my time? I should just get a dog. Actually, don't. I, I, that's the last thing I need. Okay, my kids are like begging for a dog. Anyway, snack and cheese. Got some of that stuff for Alex. And then one of the recipes called for uh, steak seasoning. 
And I don't know if this is what they meant, but it looked really good. Buttery Steakhouse. Oh my gosh. I can attest to the fact that when I was a kid and Sam Seltzer's was like, you know, first introduced into the world, we used to go there for family dinners and stuff. And I used to douse my steak. First of all, why was I getting a steak when I was like eight years old? <laughs> I don't know how old I was, but too young to actually enjoy a steak, I feel like. Anyway, I used to douse my steak in whatever seasoning they would have. It would be like half steak, half seasoning. <laughs> it was delicious. I don't know about this. I'm sure it looks delicious. I got some crepes for my kiddos, one pack and two packs because they eat, they like that. Ugh, I don't. I would rather have Nutella, but it's whatever. I made Nutella brownies. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh, somebody stop me, okay? Don't let me make that again, it's so good. Drink cheese, mozzarella, low moisture, part skim, mozzarella cheese, polio, natural cheese. I should just do that. The whole grocery haul, just read off of the package. No, RBST hormone. Some of you are like, no Kim, please stop doing that, okay. Play-Doh. 50 cans of fun, pots of plastic. Actually, I don't even know what it says. Pots de diversio. <laughs> All right, I'll definitely stop doing that. Anyway, this was $10. We normally give these out for trick-or-treaters. Guys, what are you doing for Halloween this year? Tell me, I saw a meme, it was so funny. It said, we're gonna protest on uh, October 30th. Your kids are encouraged to come, but make sure they wear a disguise. <laughs> I'll try to pop it here so we can laugh together. It was like, make sure they bring a bag because we're gonna loot the neighborhood for candy. It was just a good one. Anyway, let me, I don't know what we're doing, but let me know if you guys have decided on what you're doing. Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know damn well I can't replace you. Just say what? Say what you mean, don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need Mmm, doesn't that look so good? I love getting the rotisserie chicken and just shredding it apart. That's actually what we had for dinner. And bonus, I wanted to share with you the way that I make my gravy. It's It makes the best gravy. I still have like the chicken gravy powder that you buy. But what I add to it are all of those drippings and it just makes the most delicious gravy. There's no other way to describe it other than delicious gravy. I also hear all of you screaming, don't cut your hand off. I don't know how else to cut a bagel. This is how I do it. I don't think I've ever cut my hand. Here I am trying to please you because I'm a people pleaser and I did it that way. It just didn't work out. It took me like 20 minutes. I sped that clip up ridiculously fast. Anyway, I hear you. I'm doing my best. Okay, it's just how I cut a bagel. Just close the, close thine eyes. Words, when I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts. We got play, we got places we can go to figure out what we've done, what we need, what to do. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you.
to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you uh, okay, we've got some applesauce. I like to have this around the organic applesauce because it doesn't have any other ingredients. Don't quote me on that. Hold on, let's look. Ugh, avalanche. I think Bobby Flay made it Bobby approved. So apples and ascorbic acid to maintain color. That's a preservative. And that's it. So I think on the other one, the other pouches, I don't know what they're called, but they have other crap inside of them and sugar. I think they have added sugar, which like, uh, please, no thank you, especially when I'm getting, giving it to my baby. Uh, but I like to have these around just for a snack for her or whatever. Uh, oh my, yes, uh, French baguettes. This is one of my favorite things to have in the freezer because, I mean, you cook it and it tastes like fresh bread. And who doesn't want fresh bread at the snap of a finger because that's literally how long it takes. I don't preheat my oven. I throw it in while it's preheating and by the time it's preheated, it's like burnt. So you have to set a timer. <laughs> I would guess like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and it'll be done and crispy and absolutely delicious. Okay, finally, finally, it's happened to me right in front of my, okay, I'll stop. Soft and chewy granola bars, 74 bars, 100 calories per bar. You guys know, okay, I'll stop singing. Well, no promises. Promise me no promises. My, <laughs> well, I'm right there, I broke my promise. Someone had that song playing the other day and I was like, that doesn't make sense. Why would you, why would you listen to someone who's gonna promise you not to make promises that's an oxymoron. All right. And wait, is that what it's called? An oxymoron? No time. No time to think. Okay, so we we ran out of granola bars about day one of Shelf Timber. And then I decided to get these because the kids really liked the large size that I got last time. However, they are large. And so I think these will be better for the lunch boxes. And I love the kind brand because they're like kind ingredients and that kind of stuff. I also got some tortillas right there and I splurged with this pasta. I almost didn't, but then I thought, I just really like how pasta looks. Like, do you know what I mean? They don't sell this kind of pasta, like Publix brand, you know? I don't even know what that kind of pasta is called. It's just good. So there are six bags in here and I paid way too much. I don't, I actually forgot how much it was, but I thought that's too, that's too much. <laughs> I got some feta cheese right there. Uh, Wentworth really like, well, all the kids really like it. If I cut up cucumbers and then pair it with feta cheese and just put Italian dressing on it, it's delicious. And then I got a couple of these just after school snack or an easy dinner. Oh my gosh, and you know what? One of my favorite things to do is, uh, when, mostly when I'm pregnant, but also when I'm not pregnant and having weird cravings. I'm still breastfeeding. Maybe that's why I'm having cravings. Who knows? I'm just, I like cravings. I, well, really, I just like food. Okay, so you take this chicken, you cook it up, not in the microwave. Oh, blasphemy if you cook this stuff in the microwave, okay? And then you cut it up over a bed of rice, and then the only dressing you use, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Oh, you're welcome, is all I have to say about that, okay? Heavy, <laughs> actually, a lot of you are probably like, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard of. Well, pair that with chips and mustard, and you've got yourself my favorite after-school snack when I was in high school. Okay, I'm getting loopy. I am so hungry. Heavy whipping cream. The cream is heavy and you can whip it. Oh, it's rich too, rich and creamy. I needed this four cups of it. I don't, well, yeah, that's probably four cups in there at least. I need this for a recipe. I think the um, chicken soup, the chicken and dumpling soup, whatever. Okay, and then I was gonna get normal chicken, how I normally do in the, um, like the packets that come like this. Oh, look at me showing off my nice freezer. The packets that come like this. But one, it was more expensive that way. And two, oh my gosh, we're not even halfway done with this haul, you guys. Okay, gotta speed things up. Two, I forgot my second. This was cheaper and the second part was... I forgot, I like these because they're thin and oh, please tell me these aren't the individual, no, no, no. They sell some that are like individually packaged. I don't like those, really like these, really enjoy it. I also got some bone in skin on chicken thighs. Need this for a few of the recipes just because one, chicken thighs taste better. They're juicier, they're fattier, just come on, give it to me. And two, crap, what was my second <laughs> again? <laughs> my second thought will come to me when I'm sleeping. Second part, you can crisp it up, I guess. The skin is just so, so delicious. I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, and then this is all hidden and stuff. You guys, a hidden gem in Costco. 
sometimes my Costco has these, sometimes they don't. What's inside? You can't see. So this is a rotisserie chicken leg. There's like eight of them in there for $5. So it's 2.75 pounds for $5. It's an amazing price. It's already cooked. You know it's delicious because Costco pumps their rotisserie chickens full of God knows what and makes them so good. So that is my tip for you. If they have it, buy it and then take it off the bone. Throw it in your freezer if you don't want to use it right away. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless if you caught it but I recently shared on my Instagram that these uh, produce containers they were on sale on Amazon as I'm looking at them right now they're $5 off but yesterday they were $10 off so if you are in the market for them and have been eyeing them for a while keep them in your cart and wait for a sale I got them $5 off uh, when I purchased them so I was shocked to see $10 off the other day I was like oh man I missed a deal anyway another cool thing about these containers is that at the bottom they have a little plug look at all of that water raspberry juice whatever that came out of it it was so cool so you know I got the moisture out to keep the produce a little more fresh to keep it lasting a bit longer so I thought that was a really cool feature anyway so wipe up I'm just kidding <laughs> you guys know I don't like to push product on you but if there's a good deal and you're in the market for something you know I like to share that with you so all right back to it <laughs> I want you to show me what you feel you watch me like you want me but you still hold Okay, then down here I got three packages of the Costco eggs. Can you see that? One, two, three, I'm not lying. And then I got a bunch of milk when I went to Publix. The Almond Breeze was on sale two, four, six. And so I got one chocolate, everyone likes that. Well, except for me, I don't like it. And then I got a normal rotisserie chicken before I saw the chicken thighs, but this was already in my cart and I thought, well, I'll just keep it. Um, just a quick, easy dinner. Throw some of those baguettes in your oven and you're good to go. Oh my gosh! That's what I forgot. Frozen broccoli, people. I forgot frozen broccoli because that's what I normally make with this. It's like a 15 minute dinner. Everything's done. You just pop the broccoli in the microwave. Oh my. Yeah, well, can't win them all is all I can say. Oops, we forgot these over here. Oh 
my gosh, do you see these balls? Comfort food. Um, my camera totally shut off in the middle of my song. Okay, so just look at them. Look at them. These were a pretty decent price. I've been looking for like cutesy little bowls like that, but I didn't want six, but then I thought, well, the amount of money that I'm spending on this, and if I find just one bowl at like Home Goods or something, I thought this was the better deal. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm not going to open it quite yet. And if I find something better at Home Goods, I don't, you know, just, I don't know yet. I'm, uh, I really like these. I don't know if I have enough storage space for all six of them. So we're just going to see. I mean, there's six of us in the family, so it makes sense. I also got some chips for, with the Jack's Organic Salsa, pita chips for some hummus, love it. And then white cheddar cheese puffs for the kids. Uh, Cause you know, snacks. All right, moving right along. And we got some Chobani. This has become a staple in our house. We got some yogurt. We got some strawberry yogurt, blueberry yogurt, peach yogurt, black cherry yogurt, 11 grams of protein, only natural ingredients, 0% milk fat, non-fat Greek yogurt fruit on the bottom. Best Buy October 24th. Okay, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, in my mind I think some things are so funny. Okay, and then um, Avelina literally asks for ramen noodle just about every single day of her life. So I thought I would make her a happy camper and finally give her a million, a, a year supply of ramen noodles over there. Okay, moving on to Publix. I actually have to go to the bathroom and then I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, in the final stretch, the final countdown. Now, I got some pumpkin spice flavored pretzels. I think these are yogurt covered pretzels. I got these just in case the kids did not like the pumpkin flavored. And really, pumpkin doesn't have much of a flavor. Oh, spice. I wonder what kind of spices they use. I didn't read into that. I just bought them for the novelty of them. And I, okay, you let me know. Do you guys like pumpkin spice stuff? I gotta tell you, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of that stuff. Okay, and then, uh, okay, a lot of people, not a lot, some people rave about these Tate's Southampton, New York cookies, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. They're like a crisp cookie, and that's not my jam, but uh, they had these at Publix for uh, like a dollar a piece. They're like the tiny little bags, so I'm gonna crack into this, see if I like them. Uh, to be honest, uh, I think it's just crumbs. Let's dive in together. Oh, it's not crumbs, they're tiny. They're just so tiny, they're little babies. I'll stop. Uh, yeah, I can tell you 1000%, I'm not gonna like that crap. So I'm gonna save those for anyone else in my house. Uh, more milk over there. And then these were buy one, get one free. Ugh, could not say no. Oh my gosh, chocolate chip. They also had pumpkin muffins. They had, they had more muffins than what they normally have, like seasonal muffins, but my kids like the classics. I also got one, two, three, four, five green apples in there. And then I got some mixed vegetables. That is for a dinner. But I think, I don't think this is enough. I think I got the small bag, but that's all that they had. I also got a pound of hard salami. I got green onions. That's probably for a vegetable. And then I stocked up on the tots, Napoleon. But these are mini tots, mini tater tots. And can I tell you guys that these are fantastic. They crisp up because the outside, they're mini. So they're, they get crispier. Oh my, I just love them. Everyone in our house loves them. So I got four bags. If you can see the fourth one, I'm not lying to you. Okay, and then I got some cinnamon rolls. Holy crap, you guys. Finally back in stock. So I'm happy about life, but I have to kind of limit myself on these and just get one. I used to make two roll cans um, on Sundays. I can't do that because then everyone eats so many and then I get guilty about all the sugar and stuff. So anyway, I think there are five rolls in here. Yes, five easy to bake rolls. So we like to have that on Sunday just for fun. Okay, and then I bought some stuff to make chili. We got tomatoes, we got beans, beans, beans. And then I got some pumpkin puree for the rigatoni, pumpkin rigatoni. I think there was a couple recipes I needed pumpkin puree. I think I have a can from last year. Uh, one, I hope it's still good. And two, I thought, well, it won't hurt to get more because eventually I'll buy some before the season's over anyway. Oh, and then I got all fancy over here. Got some sage. We got some organic rosemary. And can I tell you, I spent way too much on these. I thought about buying a plant, but you guys know, I already told you my story about how I can't keep anything alive unless it's a living human being. So I got... I spent, I splurged, spent way too much money on these pieces of crap. And then I got some chicken broth. Oh, one chicken stock, one chicken broth. These are buy one, get one free. Oh, these are buy one, get one free as well. That's how Publix gets you 
but they're like, oh, look at all the cool buy one, get ones we have this week. Oh, and I know, I know before some of you say, in certain states, you can buy one and get the deal half off. Well, then they shouldn't say buy one, get one free. They should just call that half off. But uh, in Florida, where I live, you have to buy two to get the deal. So that's what we did. Oh my gosh, if you've never had these cereals before, I suggest you don't. Just keep looking. Don't buy them. They've got so much added sugar. We eat them like as a treat. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Actually, I haven't had it in a while, but from what I remember, it's delicious. I, I'm out of apple cider vinegar, so I got some more of that. I needed that on hand. And then, finally, I got some ranch. These were buy one, get one free as well. Pretty sure what, oh wait, are we out of ranch? I'm pretty sure we are. So I bought two. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot. I hate this brand. I remember when, when I was pregnant with uh, Meredith, I was so sick and all I wanted was ranch and uh, vegetables. And I so I bought every kind of ranch dressing just to try to test them out. I don't know. There's no logic behind that. But I remember having this one and thinking, oh, no, ugh. Craft is the best. Craft is where it's at, all right? We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. Um, okay, let's talk about this golden melon here for a second. First of all, have you ever had one? Second of all, I had no idea there were going to be, wait for it, seeds inside. It was like a cantaloupe. I thought it would be like a watermelon. I mean, obviously I knew there would be seeds. I just wasn't expecting something like that. So, uh, my verdict, if you would like to know, my culinary taste buds, my professional opinion, from Julia Child's Provoge over here. Uh, it was good. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I crack myself up. Okay, it was sweet. Was it worth almost $6 I think I paid for this piece of crap? No. No, I would not spend that again. I mean, it's a melon, you guys. It's not... I, if it was actual gold, then I could understand the price tag. If there was like a sliver of gold inside in the pit, then it would be worth it. <laughs> But there's not. It's just a melon. Buy a honeydew. Buy a cantaloupe. I mean, it's all relative. You know, it's kind of mild flavor. What else can I say about it? Not much. Let's peel some chicken. <laughs> For the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Okay, I wasn't going to interject, but that's just who I am, apparently. Um, as I was shredding the thighs, juicy, juicy dark meat, delicious. Uh, I am, like, peeling off the skin, also eating it little bit by little bit, because, hands up, if you think the skin is the most delicious part, <laughs> I definitely do. Oh, I know, it's, like, zero nutritional value, but it tastes so good. There's zero nutritional value in cake. And I eat that, okay? No regrets. That's how I live my life. Also, dinner number one, dinner number two. Voila. And how does 
said, look, a good before and after shot for you. Uh, finally, we got it all finished. And you know what? As soon as I had it all laid out on my counter like that, I thought, is that all I did? <laughs> it's like an hour and a half worth of effort just for like five filled containers. But you know what? It does keep it fresh longer. The kids are more inclined to eat it if it's easily accessible and ready to go. No one gets upset, <clears throat> my husband, because everything is all washed. So it's fantastic. I encourage you to meal prep. I recently asked my sister-in-laws at family dinner if they did that. One of them did. One of them doesn't. So apparently I'm in the average with not having my life together. Holy cow. <laughs> are we finished? Did we get through everything? Did we put everything away is the most important question. I'm certainly not going to do that first. Ooh, my hands smell like green onions. Okay, what are we going to do first? Um, probably eat, although I don't really see anything that's like readily available to eat. Banana, maybe. All right, well, wish me luck with all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.